Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Pets LP. Alrighty, so in the last part, we went ahead and gave birth to baby Bailey right here. She's a cutie patootie, even though we can't really tell what she looks like. Also, Rose uh, aged up, and she's gorgeous, and I think she's adorable, but we definitely need to begin training her and everything, and I actually liked, you know, some of your guys' awesome awesome uh suggestions that bailey should be uh i mean rose should be bailey's horse and i was like that is the cutest thing ever um because you know meadow is um amber's horse uh thought that was so cute and i thought about it and i'm like okay well by the time freaking bailey can sh uh, start training her jockey skill rose is probably going to be a little bit older um, she actually has 30 days until aging up, so, actually, yeah, that will probably end up being, uh, Bailey's horse, but the fact that we can begin training her now is really awesome, because think about it, we can begin training her now, so by the time, you know, um, Bailey is ready to train with her, she is totally, totally ready for, you know, uh, improving her jockey skill, which goes up incredibly fast. If you guys remember that, uh, we actually accomplished our jockey skill really, really fast. So I'm not too worried about that. So yeah, definitely training would be awesome. So, all right, let's actually go ahead and buy a, uh, another jumping, um, some more different, you know, tools and everything. Uh, because Meadow is more advanced than Rose. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get... Let, let, let's see. We can get... Hmm. This one right here is quite crazy. It, like, shoots up fire and stuff like that. I don't know if we're quite ready for that one. But you know what? We're going to get it anyways. And we're going to try it. So, uh see how this goes right here she's like hell no not doing that all this is what she needs though you know she needs to improve her jumping skill um so let's go ahead and uh get her oh this is the one that goes on fire actually i don't know if she's ready for this one either i really don't know um I'm pretty sure this right here, this green mark right here, means like we can add on to her obstacle course pretty much. Which is pretty cool. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. She's like, F you, bitch. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I wouldn't want to either. It is improving her jumping skill though. Um, if you guys see that on top of her head, it says it is improving. But, uh, Amber needs to actually go ahead and eat. Oh, I updated the kitchen a little bit. I didn't even show you guys this. I did go ahead and put a little bit of the Bayside Collection in here. If you guys know me, Bayside Collection is my all-time favorites. For those who don't know, uh, I actually did a favorites video here on my channel, like my favorite store content. I will link that down below for you guys to watch. So if you haven't watched that, you can actually go ahead and click on that link down below uh, to go ahead and watch that. Also, this weekend, there will probably only be, like, a couple videos because I'm going on vacation, actually, tomorrow, and I am rushing these videos out right now. So, that may explain that. But look at these two over here. Here's Duke and Angel, freaking Duke laying on the ground eating, and little Angel so short that she's pretty much right next to Duke. Look how crazy they are. They're so cute, though, especially Duke. Somebody actually tweeted me the most amazing picture Ever. Uh, they tweeted me a picture of like real life animals, like real legit animals, um, a golden retriever and a horse that looked just like Meadow, like snuggling. And shout out to you because that was literally amazing. I, I loved that tweet. All right, let's go over here. When does Bailey grow up? I think one day. Yes, yeah, she has one day until aging up. So we might actually age her up uh, probably this afternoon. Um, because when they're babies, there's literally nothing to do with them except watch them just lay there. So what's the difference between today and tomorrow, right? You say tomato. I say tomato. How does that have anything to do with what I was just saying? 
anyways, um, now that, uh, we have Meadow, we can actually go ahead and, you know, bring her to go, um, get, blah, 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 to go enter competitions, which is good. So let's go ahead and, uh, clean her up and everything. Here's Duke over here. What did you just do, Duke? Duke. Andrea's hard work and effort has really paid off. Uh, let's see, let's see. Off to the tune of a permanent extra 14 simoleons per an hour. That is a big promotion. Good job. All right. How are you doing, Andy? Andy's doing okay. Oh, yes. He was about to get a promotion today. Andy, Andy, Andy. Everything's pretty much maintained and doing good. So why don't you come over here actually and talk to this little old man. Come friends with him because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to get to know your fellow firefighters. So that's how we're going to get our promotion is coming friends with an old man. No problem. I love old people. Um, we're going to enthuse about dogs. We're going to enthuse about our new home. Flatter him. He is a schmoozer. So he should um, enjoy our compliments. And if he doesn't, I'm going to and kill him and he's not all right he he yes he is enjoying the schmoozing a little bit we're gonna praise him schmooze him uh, <laughs> uh talk about computers tell him a firefighting story what else um shaka bra study together that's kind of cool what do they say about me Ooh. they should be you know they should come friends. This cute little old man. He's frugal. Oh, okay. So let's uh, talk about money a little bit if we can. Um, we're going to schmooze again, actually. <laughs> you can schmooze about money. Tell a dramatic story. Um, Alright. Come on. Oh! Never mind, old man. We're going to go respond to this emergency. And hopefully it's not a huge-ass fire. I'm really hoping it's not. I'm really hoping it's a small fire. <laughs> Let's see. Large house fire. I hate my life. <laughs> I was really hoping it wouldn't be one. And it totally is, of course. The Woo Woo 4000. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's go extinguish the flames. Come on, my little Andy. This is for your promotion. There's a puppy here, so you definitely have to you have to put this fire out. This fire is actually not that big. From what I can see anyways, it's really not that big. Alright. Alright, we extinguished the fire. Right? Yeah. Oh nope. There's one over here. What are you doing? Go. There. All right, we're going to go break down the door. All right. This is intense. All right, we're going to go uh, over here and convince her to run, even though she's outside beyond me. All right, awesome, awesome. Oh, and we got a promotion. Congratulations, Andy has been conferred the new title of Backdraft Specialist by the Appaloosa Plains Town Council in recognition of his valuable contributions to the workforce. Andy now makes 1,480 simoleons per week and works from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. So pretty much every time he puts out a fire, he gets, you know, his paycheck, which is really cool. Um, let's see. Firefighters and departments around the world now look to you as the expert on freak firefighting occurrences such as building corpse, gas leaks, and of course, backdrafts. Nobody knows the nature of the fire better than you. Your, reputu your reputation precedes you wherever you go. Awesome. We got an A on that one. Aw. Awesome, Andy. You did good today. Got that promotion that we wanted. He did. He did good. Awesome job, Andy. So, you know what? Go ahead. Relax. You don't have to talk to that old man if you don't want to. I'm not going to force you. Um, and we're going to actually go up here and take a little shower. So, yes. Let's go shower on up go home and actually let's go to the equestrian center let's go jump on meadow yes let's 
go jump on Meadow. <laughs> and uh, go, in our first time in quite some time, go enter a equestrian riding competition. How exciting. Very, very fun. Great way to make simoleons. And of course, you know, it's just like a bonding experience for these two. They've been with each other for quite some time, you know what I mean? So, this is exciting. All right, let's head to the equestrian center, and uh, let's see. We're going to do racing international. Are we ready for international? I sure hope so. Oh, we're really pushing it. We're really pushing internationals. We really are pushing internationals. Jacqueline Miller wants to know if Andy Waters would like to go on a date. Andy has a wife. Andy has a kid. No, no. I don't know. I don't know about the International um, Equestrian Center race. I really don't think we're going to get first place in this one. But it's worth a try. All right. Eighth place, seventh place. Ooh, take some risks. I don't know. Yeah, this is, um, hey. <laughs> Hopefully we do better. I'm going to wait till about halfway. Go for broke. Oh, no. Go up. Go up. Go up. Keep going up. Keep. Go no. No. <laughs> Keep going up. No. Come on. Oh, no. Meadow. <laughs> Why us? Seventh place. It's not okay. It's okay, guys. We will eventually win it. We just need to get our skill up a little bit more. Oh, we didn't win one this time. How sad is that? That's all right. We will enter advanced, okay? Okay. Oh, my goodness. We need to start uh, entering some other ones. We're just going to go for broke with this one. Why not? It's a close one right now. All right, there we go. Ooh. Oh, our kid, our kid, our kid is really upset. Our kid is starving right now. Why doesn't, um, like, Andrea take care of her? Like, Andrea, get out of bed. Okay, please, please feed the child that is crying right next door to you. Like, beyond me, beyond me, beyond me. All right, let's go ahead and replace that really quick. Look at Chip. Look at Chip. Oh my gosh, his eyes are open while he's sleeping. That is so scary. <laughs> he's so cute. The death wall. The death wall. All right, let's go ahead and take care of little Bailey. And it's already 11 p.m., so I guess we'll just have our birthday party tomorrow. Or We're not probably not even gonna throw a party because she's just a baby maybe when she's a toddler you know we'll go ahead and throw a party but for now we don't need one all right so you can go back to bed andrea and let's go ahead and jump off meadow and go to bed as well and andy why are you sleeping at the fire station come home to your family your newborn child oh my goodness Alrighty, guys so i am going to go ahead and get back to you guys in the morning Alrighty guys, so it is morning time and I thought I would go ahead and show you guys how cute Duke is right now. He's uh, laying right here on the couch and I think he looks so cute. You know, just relaxing on the couch, dreaming of luscious gourmet food. Um, so cute. He's actually really hungry right now. What? What did I just say? Gourmet. Mmm. Oh, cutie. Alright, let's see. Does Amber actually have any in her inventory? She does actually. She has some chicken pet food. All right, when she wakes up, she's going to have to go ahead and give them some gourmet pet food. Actually, for those, I've only said it a million times now. Um, I'm going on a cruise tomorrow, and let me tell you, the best thing about cruises is actually not cruise the ferry and the one who is naked at our house all the time. No, not that one. Um, it is actually, you know, I'm sure you guys know what a cruise is, but it is all you can eat food. Yes. All you can eat, whatever you want, it's all free. You can eat as much as you want. So, 
I personally am not picky on my food like at all so you can believe I will be ordering everything and trying it out and I am so excited but what I my point is um I really like escargot which I know some people are totally disgusted by but I love escargot and I cannot stress it enough how many I'm gonna order because they are expensive and the fact that you know it's free <laughs> <laughs> I am such a geek, but, um, yeah, actually, while I'm there, you know, I'm probably not going to have, you know, internet connection until I get to the Bahamas, but while I'm on the boat, I'm going to be playing on my M Nintendo 3DS, you know, when it's dark out or there's nothing to do, I'm going to be playing on my Nintendo 3DS, and I'm going to be playing Animal Crossing and Sprung, which is like a dating simulator, um, all right, so let's actually go ahead and start a new book, we're going to start a humor novel that's a little out of our league um yeah let's start a humor novel it's gonna be called the naked fairy cruise let's see the naked fairy cruise a sad tale with a twist Alright, so it's not really, you know, it's a, like, humor novel, but it's a sad tale with a twist. She's like Carrie Bradshaw. She's writing about her, her life. <laughs> She's so cute. Alright. Andy. Go ahead and get Bailey. Go hold your daughter. Yes, yes, yes. Go get her. Snuggle her. It's your little girl. Aww. It's his little girl. Snuggle her and play with her. It's actually leisure day, by the way, today. Duke Waters has gained the aggressive trait. That is not Duke at all. Oh, he's chasing away the mailman. <laughs> Duke! That is not like you. You need to knock it off. <gasps> oh. Guys. Duke is so old. Do you guys see... Do you guys see this right here? He is 44 days old. He is coming to the end of his time. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and take this picture. Because he is so freaking mighty. And you know what? Duke is literally the cutest thing ever. He is as cute as cute gets. He has been such a cute dog. And so lovable and loyal. And just, oh. I'm seriously. Okay. I am going to, like cry when duke dies like not because like you know i'm like he's like a real person but because he's like a family member so i guess kind of yeah he is a real person and like animals you get so attached to them to them it's just crazy so uh we're gonna go ahead and um put bailey what the oh. okay have you guys ever seen the viral video that's well going viral currently it's called devil baby and um oh my gosh what was that that was just devil baby <laughs> what the hell you guys i'm done with the sims i'm just kidding i'm never done with the sims what am i talking about i am addicted uh let's go ahead and buy a cake really quick and uh blow the candles out bailey waters um yes somebody smells and somebody's hungry and she's gonna bring her daughter to the cake andrea you can go ahead and take a break from writing and come watch you know little bailey age up all right. Ooh, Amber made pumpkin pie. Yum. All right, let's blow the candles out. Hmm. She's on the floor. The days have flown by and Bailey is now a toddler. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's see who she looks like. Look at those eyes. They are so brown and so adorable. She's like a little panda bear. Not really, but she's so cute. I can't tell who she looks like, though. I feel like, I don't know, she's a really strong mixture of both of them. I really can't tell who she looks like. But let's go ahead and change her appearance. 
I really can't tell who she looks like. Meadow needs to eat. All right, let's go ahead and change her appearance, give her some new hair and stuff. But uh, yeah, she's really cute. I can't tell who she looks like. Mm. I feel like she looks more like Andy. She definitely has Andy's eyes, definitely. Um, oh, this is so cute, this hair right here. Oh, this one's so cute. <laughs> this is Brandy's hair. Here. Brandy's hair from uh, Into the Future. So cute. I don't know. Do toddlers, like, actually have hair this long? Because I've never seen it. I've, like, never seen toddler with hair like this. Like, if I was a toddler, ooh, I would work that. But I've never seen that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give her... Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's summertime currently, so we could definitely get away with like a little sunflower hat. We could definitely get away with it. So you know what? We're going to do the sunflower. All right. This and this. All right, cutie. Oh, she is so cute. She is so cute, you guys. I don't know, she has like this little chubby face that I just want to grab and just squeeze and she's so cute. Alright, let's actually go ahead and plan her outfit as well. I just want to grab her cheeks and just pinch them. Just pinch them. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, let's see, her everyday outfit um, will be this. Maybe actually, I can switch it up. Huh. Let's see what I have for outfits. I do have quite a few outfits for toddlers. Let's see. Ooh, I like this one. It's a little dress that has animals on it, but that totally does not go with her outfit uh, or her hat, actually. This one's really cute. Oh, I love it. Love, love, love that one. Um, Let's go ahead and give her... Let's give her... Let's give her the one that she was wearing down here. All right, let's customize the colors a little bit to get them to match. All right. And her little, we'll make them like a pastel green. All right, that will work. And let's go ahead and give her some new little sandals. Let's actually give her these little white shoes. And uh, accessories, I don't think she needs any accessories. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and give her a little formal outfit. Um, it'll be, it'll be this. Mm, who cares? She's never going to be in her formal outfit, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, for her sleepwear, she will wear, oh, here's like little outfits from Into the Future that I never showed off. Here they are, <laughs> little pajamas. Uh, so I think we will use... We will use, I don't know, guys, uh, this, like, little, no, that's more of an outfit. We'll just put a little diapy on her. Who cares? It's summer. She doesn't need to be bundled up. And for her outerwear, that hair, though, <laughs> we will go ahead and uh, give her these, like, little, these little outfits right here that are so cute. Oh, they're so cute. We'll give her this one right here. And give her some little sneakers. And uh, some little gloves as well. Alright, that will work. Alrighty, guys. This is Bailey. She is so cute. I, I really am in love with Bailey. I just want to squeeze her cheeks. I love her brown eyes because usually my sims don't have brown eyes. So the fact that she has these like chestnut brown eyes, oh, I just love it because it's, you know, it's different than usual. So that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, have Andy go give some attention to Duke because Duke is so old. You know what I mean? He's really so old and <laughs> We're going to go get go over here and give him a smoochie and hug him and rub his belly and feed him a treat. Because he is getting so old. Meadow, feed yourself. 
let's get some hay real quick for Meadow. <sighs> Meadow's driving me crazy. I think we have to scatter it. Andrea, will you come scatter this hay? Please. And Amber smells, but she needs to take care of the baby. Where is she? Let's uh, go ahead and see this real quick. Duke is like, please, please get on my level. <laughs> Andy, give him a smoochie again. I want to see that. <laughs> Aww. He's like, Amber, you look cute. This is my favorite interaction by far, what you guys are about to see, this smoochie. I think it is so cute because, you know what? I love kissing my dog. I know, that seems really weird. But, you know what? Giving them a good kiss just to let them know, I love you, is is just... I love my dogs. I do. Um, alrighty, guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. In the next part, I am going to make uh, Andrea and Cruz get a little bit more serious and, you know, start making commitments, get um, engaged and stuff. They need to move on. She's getting old. So, yeah, they have to really make that commitment. She is, you know, she wants to have a baby and everything. This is Andrea. She wants to have a family. So, she's probably going to have a baby as well. And we actually need to get Amber pregnant as well again. Uh, yes, this soon, guys. This soon. Um, <laughs> because, you know, she's older, too, so we really gotta pop these babies out as soon as possible because these Sims are getting older now. So, I will see you guys in the next part. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, give it a big fat thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.